Sometimes it's rainy, sometimes the stormy weather gets you, sometimes the sun don't shine on your face. You see, it has everything that you're looking for. Did I tell you that it also comes with solar panels pre-installed? Yours? Of course. Look, Emma. <clears throat> see, this is about 500 million. How about 500 million for your dream home in this sort of neighborhood? Ah, come on, Baba. That's very fair, if you ask me. Did I mention to you that Dangote and Dandata have properties in this neighborhood? Are you sure? If I'm sure. You've forgotten who you're talking to. Imagine the sort of networking opportunities staying in this type of neighborhood presents for you. Okay, I'll take it. Um, have your office send me the work paper in the morning. Awesome. Or <clears throat> you just give them to you now. <laughs> Mr. Then Call the... Take the weekend to go over it. The sweet talker. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll make him to you. So the evening. How about that? I look forward to that. All right. All right. So it's been nice. Hopefully, I'll you. So, see you. All right. <laughs> um, come on. I'll beg another one. Hi. Hello. I am uh, my name. Don't do that. It ruins the mystery. Bring two glasses of the Green Hulk. What's that? The bar's most famous cocktail. Don't you want to have a drink with me? Um, I, 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 I should go in. No. I'm sorry. What? You should... can't do that. Just stay and have a drink with me. I really should be going. I don't see a ring on that finger. As I lay on your chest and watch it rise in rhythm, simultaneous be back to that of my feet. Clock and let this rhythm spit back. Oh, now, what are you that for? I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so I got this. Ah, I thought the ghost would say they would be ready to tomorrow. Ah, you seem to have forgotten how persuasive your wife can be. And besides, I don't want those desperate niggas girls thinking that my handsome husband is a villain of <laughs> So, how is it? It's good. Yeah, better than. Yeah, good. sure. Um, baby, what really, what happened? I had a meeting with that client. 
Our deuces, remember? Oh yeah, true. Mm -hmm. So, how was it? How did you say Ah, show off. <laughs> too bad, you did Anyway, if you're hungry, there's yam in the pot, okay? Boo boo. Yes, babe. Boo boo. <laughs> what happened to my leftover chicken and chips? Your babe kind of ate it. No. Oh. I'm sorry, okay? I was hungry. And besides, I've been feeding for two of those days. And I'm hungry. That's why I said there's yam in the I pot. Said now. I am hungry. Oh, is that? Mm hmm. <clears throat> So, what would you like to have? Well, depends. What's on the menu? Oh, are you sure that your palate can handle what's on the menu? My husband? Hmm, my husband? <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> Please, I want to sleep. Yes, <laughs> I was see, just joking. Okay. That's not what the other room is <laughs> meant for. <laughs> You're nothing. You're very nothing. What do you need to do those things for? They're really small. Make Can you allow me meat in peace? Ah uh ah, -uh. it's not too much to ask for. Oh, very so. Until I get titi. No, stop. Titi, titi. Please leave me alone. <laughs> I want it as. This one. Four and six. Hello. Yes, this is. Yes, yes. Oh, no, 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 that's not a problem at all. Just tell me the date and the time, and I'll be there. Okay, okay, that works. That works, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What in the end I told you about? Okay. Um, what about it? I just got a call from a client who wants to meet her daddy in the property. That's good. But babe, I don't want you to get too excited over something that is not setting. I know, I know. But babe, <laughs> if you know how much commission stands to get, even you didn't back backflips by now. Mm -hmm. And so how much is the property? What is the worth of the property now? Drum rolls. Wait for it. One hundred and fifty million dollars. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> Babe, you need to monitor that client. Mm. $150 million. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. huge. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll pray for you. Mm -hmm. You will get it. <laughs> In fact, it's a done deal. I'm telling you. <sighs> mm hmm. Since Monday, but I've been dropping him since all the whole eating for two and all that. But you, you will not pay attention. I swear very annoying. You. <laughs> Just a weird man. I thought all this your weird stuff. Very useless. <laughs> Even a child. <laughs> Mm. 
Ini bukan sih. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Ma. Should you your as well? Oh, okay. Thank you. Why is your face like this? It's okay. This is Auntie Clara wig. It's too tiny and it's very stressful. Will you keep quiet there, my friend? I make this hair very well. I don't know what's too stressful here. Do it like this. Hmm? Is that Hey, baby. How's it going? Ah, good. How about you? Oh, I'm okay. I'm just going to have that meeting with the client I told you about, remember? That's good. See you, babe. Hmm? Don't leave that office, oh. Did they make you an offer? Uh, yeah. After the long hours I've been with, better. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. So I'm exhaust. So you prepare the other day for dinner. <laughs> this husband man, you're not serious though. Instead of you to be thinking of the meeting that you have, you're here thinking of food. Well, I can't. Oh the one safe. The one is too much. Please now. Uh, let it be. Have you forgotten? Wife, not cook. Uh, so all this work has been doing. Who do you think is for? Before Uncle, are you not the man of the house? Mm -hmm. Your duty is to work very hard and provide for your family. So, Husband, not yes. slave. My. Oh boy, gotta go. Don't forget. All right, baby. <clears throat> I'll try. I love you. Sorry for the delay. If I had known we were going to meet again today, I would have worn some better lipstick. When I got a call from D and D Holding, I thought I would be meeting with. Chief Yeri Marisu? That's my father. Okay. Yes, and so you know, he doesn't get out of bed in the morning to deal with little real estate like this. I don't remember seeing that when we first met. <clears throat> so, You'll be dealing with me directly throughout this transaction. I hope that won't be a problem. Um, <clears throat> no, not at all. Good. Ah, uh, there. How was it? It was fine. Were you aware that it was his daughter we were going to be dealing with? Oh, I learned about that last minute. How was she? She did okay. Uh, yeah, I trust you anyway. I'll, I'm sure she's already made an offer. Do you even get that far? Uh, she said she would like a tour around the estate first. But if you ever sent his reps to do that last month. Exactly. And I told her that. She insisted she wants to see the property herself. So, we're going there tomorrow. All right, that's fine. Um, Kaladi, I'm sure I have to close this right. Yeah. This will be the biggest, probably, the firm has seen this year. And I don't need to tell you what's in it for you. I know, sir. Hey, boo boo.
We haven't had a good home meal for a week now. I had to do something. I see that over us. Mm-hmm. You know your boo-boo. I know these things. So which of the girls are giving you a while at the shop? Girls. I wish. Well, the girls have been behaving. Now what is it? Well, it's just that I spoke to the agency that helped Elsa and Inyola when they went to give birth in the States. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, he said that to give birth in the States is going to cost about 8 million naira. I think it will help you carry the babies. You can imagine. That's a lot. Babes, um, don't get this up. All right, I'm sure there are cheaper options out there. Babe, that's the thing. It does the cheapest. The other option is Canada, which is five million now. Well, Canada sounds good. Canada, that cold country. <laughs> Boy, you want our child to catch a cold before he gets to a month? Oh, no, wow. Canada. Hi. Canada. Mm. Who is this one? Not this bank and your stupid credit allowance. What's the matter this time? Uh -uh. No, this bank. They are knowing 15 naira credit alert. These bank people, they don't know the right time to send their stupid alerts. I will soon sue them. I'm not joking, no. Every time. So that they are sending you 5 naira. Or they are sending you 10 naira. Rubbish. <laughs> What's that now? What's funny? I don't know when someone is joking. What's the meaning of that now? You know I got you right. Everything will be just fine. Are you sure? Trust me. Okay. Leave me, Joe. My foot is burning. <laughs> See now. I'm glad you made it. So, I have two hours, so let's make this count. Ugh. I thought we were past this. How much show that if and when you do this? You're still going to sign. It depends. How bad do you want to seal this deal?
Sit down. There's something else. How were you able to convince Miss Yusuf? I was very persuasive, sir. At some point, I thought the deal was going to slip through the cracks. Whatever you did worked. She called and said she was deeply satisfied with your professionalism. Those were her words. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, this is uh, your commission on the uh, property. And with the amount of zeros on that check, I'd expect you to be more excited. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir, can I have the rest of the day off? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You end it. You end it. But don't forget, drinks, Friday night juices. Oh, huh? Okay. Babe, I'm home. Baby. What's going on here? Who are you and what have you done to my husband? Welcome. How's it? Fine. What are you doing? What is it again? <clears throat> when did you start cooking? I'm trying to be romantic here. Would you allow me? Okay. But at least let me help you. Uh -huh. Thanks. I got it covered. All right? Don't touch anything. <sighs> this Don't. one you're cooking today. Baby, you know I love you, right? Don't poison me and our child. My husband cooked. <laughs> Are you serious? Let me try this. This tastes really good. I know, right? See, I hope it's not a one time thing. Don't hold your breath, man. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Even if not for your darling wife, but at least for her. Her who? Her. <laughs> Speaking about a baby, though. <clears throat> Him, by the way. What's this? Open it. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. What? How did you do? How did you get to do this? <clears throat> well, I sold the estate. <laughs> Congratulations! Are you serious? Yep. And as soon as I got that commission, I decided to open an account in the baby's name to cover the cost for our son's birth. Babe, you did that. You see why I love you. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Look, I told you that everything will be fine. And I trust you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you can save me. Now listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Why do you keep looking at your wristwatch? Yeah, I could feel that I should know about. It's not like that, sir. In the office, you can call me, sir. 
when we're outside, it's decay. Hmm? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I just, I just really need to rush home to Kyra. Is it because she's pregnant? Don't you know that? I don't remember share that. Well, I had to find out on Facebook. Okay. Hello? Yes. Oh, outside. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. All right. <clears throat> Is there a party at the office that I don't know about? Oh, no, no, no. Because the catering company just called it. I'm sorry, let's say it's done wrong. <laughs> no, 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 let's just, let's just say it's not the uh, usual catering company that I used to. I don't understand. All right, you see. Uh, excuse me. That's right. Carla, say hello to Colony. Hi. Please excuse me. Oh, okay. Why are you looking like that? How about your wife? <laughs> She's at home with the kids. I don't give me that look, alright? Every man needs to find someone, you know, on the side. Let's go. She is fit and jobs. We are finger licking chops. You know what, let me get you something to drink, okay? Use your... <laughs> <sighs> So what is it you want to know about us? Us? Finger licking chops. Look, I'm sorry, but what, what sort of thing are you? We cater to the needs of men. We are an escort service. We look shocked. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I really need to leave now. Colony, at least stay for one more I would love to, sir, but I really have to go. Thank you. Again. Good night. Good morning, baby. <clears throat> How was your night? <sighs> Someone was having so much fun in his sleep last night. Are you shy? <sighs> All right, get up so you can go have breakfast. So we can beat the traffic. Baby, have you forgotten? I told you that I was spending the weekend over at my mom's place and you offered to drop me off. Oh my God, I forgot. Okay. Okay. Get up, go okay. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh, 
don't have your button now. Oh, cool. What's all this one you do? Go and have your bad, Joe. Let's go. What's this sitting here? Go and have your bad. Can you, can you please go and make me some eggs for breakfast? I already made you eggs for breakfast. Go and have your bad now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's all this? Baby, have you killed it? Yes. Let me just flush it in the toilet. Okay. Fourteen years I dealt with you, I went to you and I Feed in love and thought my father figure was my pride I put my love at risk and I put my trust to stay When I thought that you were the real deal Two years on a teenage girl, I'm still out of your life Now's the right time to include me in your family ride. You told me in my face that won't be necessary, and that killed me. I'd only visit you up in your office, there you would hand me some cash, thinking that was all that I needed. And away to your life you would die Still I would make excuses for you Daddy Was this an illusion? Or was this real? So long Farewell I'm done hearing this all the time Go, go I'm telling you this all the time Got no time to be your daddy Got no time for so you So long Farewell. I can't really see you. Who's that? It's me, sir. Uh, I want to drop your dry cleaning. Alright, okay. Come on, sir. What is that? Come on, sir. Wait, wait. Is this your first time? Is this your first time? Yes. Don't worry. I'll make you enjoy all your money's worth. Look, can we just keep the small talk and get right into it? It's fine. Fine, you don't have to be shy with me. Just stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really am. Don't do me here. What's wrong with this? It's fine. Hmm? It's really fine. Don't worry, Mr. Kolati. Hmm? You don't have to do anything. 
I will do all the work. I was really hoping that this would happen. Why? In our line of work, where the men get to pick us, it's not all the time we get to be with someone we find attractive. Most men that patronize us aren't as good looking as you are. Would you like to see me again? I won't be doing this again. <laughs> you could just add us on our WhatsApp line. What's the difference? That way, you get to see pictures of girls, you know, you like. And place an order. Place an order? Why are you doing this? I mean, you speak so well. So, you're obviously educated. You could be working in a bank, a company, anything but this. I used to work in a bank. I earned 70000 in a month. It could really pay my bills or put my siblings through school. But with all of this, I get four times that much. And you know, a little extra. If I'm a good girl or a bad girl, depending on the kind. I don't have enough money here. I need to use on it here. <sighs> don't worry. We don't do cash. Management's policy. Service or current. What's that? Mom, I'm trying to call Colade, but his number is not reachable. I guess it's still working. At this time? You don't know Colade. He's such a hardworking man. <sighs> Colade reminds me a lot about your father. My father? How? All your father was interested in was work and money. He was always chasing one deal or the other. <laughs> but that's a good thing. Well, it is, but now that you are expecting a child, it should make more time for you. <clears throat> Mom, you know it's not easy for Kolade. But he's trying. You know what he did? The other day, he went out of his way to cook for me. <laughs> My husband can be sweet like that. <laughs> Well, if he cooks anything like your father, I think he should stop. Because I want my child and grandchild in one piece. Mommy. Ah. <laughs> the last time your father cooked for me, I landed in the hospital. <laughs> Daddy cooked? <laughs> he did. <laughs> when was that? You were in the body house that time. Oh, the food, was it that bad? He gave me raw pepper. <laughs> raw pepper? I can never forget <laughs> that your father's stew. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, mommy. At least it's the thought that matters. <laughs> well, <laughs> a cook your father isn't. But he knew how to shower me with gifts. You see, that is his way of being romantic. Well, not until I later discovered all those gifts were his way 
of trying to make up for his various affairs he was having. Affairs? But mom, I thought it was a one-time thing. When a man has sex once and punches the vagina, he forgets he's going to have another erection. How do you mean? <sighs> Don't look so shocked. I should have known. What do you mean, Mom? Your father never remembered anything. Anniversaries, birthdays, not to talk of giving me gifts. But all of a sudden, he just started showering me with gifts when there's even no special occasion. You see, when a man begins to act out of character, we need to know there's more to it than just a change of heart. Give me your other leg. Give me the other leg. Hey, Bobo. Hey, I hear you coming. How are you? <laughs> that woman. She's fine. She has been talking, talking, talking all day. But anyway, she sent her love. Okay. <laughs> so what are you cooking? Well, I just want to make some for you. Something light. Something light for me. So this kitchen thing is good to the pile of it. You and this you're cooking this day, so please I'm hungry. Are you okay? Bubu. Yes, babe. So, I made a list of names for baby boy while you were gone. And what are they? Uh, so, I talked about uh, Shegun, mm -hmm. Dare, mm -hmm. um, Chike, or Ekene. What about female names? Names like Princess, Chidima, Tolani, Shade. All those pretty names. Or oh, Kyra. I hear you. <sighs> someone call me. What? My phone. Someone try to call me. I think it's a text message. Who is that? Nothing. It's a um, work email. Okay. So, babe, mm -hmm. am I getting a massage today? Uh, Will you be kind enough to give me a massage today? Yeah. When do you want to? Okay. <sighs> Okay. 
Girl, you're unbelievable, irreplaceable. Wanting you to know, say you carry my heart to go. Girl, you're unbelievable, irreplaceable. Wanting you to know, say you carry my heart to go. There go. You know I can't stop the feeling, feeling the way I'm feeling about you. Come very closer, baby, baby, and let me show you later. Oh, yeah. Let me love you till you're tired. Oh, let me feel your world of fire. Oh, you're my only one desire. You be the only one, my lover. Oh, let me love you till you're tired. Oh, let me feel your world of fire. Oh, you're my only one desire. You be the only one, my lover. Girl, you're unbelievable, irreplaceable. Wanting you to know, say you carry my heart to go. Girl, you're unbelievable, irreplaceable. Wanting you to know, say you carry my heart to go. There go. You get on me, I can't stop the way I'm thinking about you. Week. Good morning, baby. Morning, Bobo. You stayed longer than usual in there. Oh. Ronnie told me. Must have been the yogurt I had yesterday. You still had that yogurt, babe. I thought I told you not to. But no, you wouldn't listen. Good for you. Don't mind me, babe. You think I'll know better. <sighs> I hope you haven't forgotten what today is. It is, isn't it? Really? It's not, it's not about anniversary either, is it? <sighs> I remember. I remember it's your mother's birthday. Mom's birthday. Celebration. Please leave me alone, Jerry. Big head. <laughs> well, today we're having the doctor's appointment. Today, we are going to know the sex of the baby. Boo boo. I can tell you for free. It's a boy. See this one. Well, I can also tell you that it's a girl. You want to bet? Okay. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to make it simple for y'all. Mm -hmm. Whoever wins mm -hmm. and gets it right, yeah, mm -hmm. gets to buy the other person ice cream. Ice cream, really? So what is your baby boy is for ice cream? That's so cheap. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. deal. Deal. Mm, that's bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, don't forget. It's by one p.m. today. Don't be late. Promise. So you are swagging up like this. Don't be late, oh. Promise. <laughs> you look so cute, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Hello. This is Wura from Finger Licking Chops. You asked for me? Yes. When do you want us to meet today? Okay, so are you ready now? Not yet, doctor. Oh. My husband is still on his way. All right, all right. I guess he's stuck in traffic. Baby, pick now. Mm -hmm. Baby, pick up.
know how to begin to say. With who? The client. So, call a day. Your meeting was more important than me, than us. Is that what you say? Lord, please leave me and go and mind the for this. Please. Good night. I said leave me now. Come here, man. Yes. Okay. Dave, meet my friend. Hello. Yeah, nice meeting you. Thank you. Auntie K, I just wanted to formally invite you for our wedding. Mm -hmm. This is my fiance, Koka. Oh, good to finally meet you, Mr. Koka. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wedding is a good news, oh. Ah. I am happy for you. Thank you, ma'am. I am happy for the both of you. Thank you, ma'am. Ah, Mofe. <laughs> Why did I employ you here? <laughs> now you're a big woman, no? Oh. <laughs> hey. I'm so happy for the both of you. This mm -hmm. is good. Oh, mm. Mo. So now this is just they make you they glow anyhow, oh, Thank you. Oh, thank you. Ah. Yes, what are you doing? What is this? You're welcome, eh? Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. okay. Ma, please. What is the problem? What is wrong with these young girls? I asked her to do C cough. I mean, C cough. And look at what she she just did. Set up at Pico. Pico, you will. Eh? Hey. Hey. Oh, ma. Ma. Give me that. Give me the cutting comb. Understand I don't know. I don't understand. Is it that you don't understand the difference between center part and C curve? This is center part. And then if you do it like this, the C curve. What is your problem, um, Auntie K? Let me handle it. Don't worry, Auntie K. Don't it. worry. I will handle it. Trust me, Ma. Hmm? This is one of my best staff. She will make your hair very well for you. I don't like this. I don't like it. Now I'm going to spend another hour here. I'm really sorry, ma. Eh? <laughs> don't worry about the money. It's in the house. Hello. Eh? Excuse me. Please, where's your restaurant? It's on, your, on the left. We just go straight. Thank you. Hello, ma. ma. Where are the towels? I dried them in the bathroom. Go and attend to those wigs. Sick of you don't know. Hello, babes. Yeah, why are you angry now? Okay. I said we'll be going to see your parents next month. Yes, I promise you. All right, take care. Bye bye. I love you. you do this? I gave you 10 years of my life and then you stand there and say, what, what, what's that? <laughs> and so, and so, don't touch me. Don't touch me, you bastard. How will you do this to me? Let's see. 
okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to. It's okay. It's okay. Why did I not know all this well? How? Sorry. You didn't even feel anything. Didn't feel any remorse. He told me. No, it's not. Leave me! Leave me! Leave me! Just leave me! Your friend, it's okay. So, Karen, from what I've seen, he made payment to Happy twice this month. Hmm. How much has he been sending to this finger licking chops company? Uh, 140,000 here. And from what I've seen, he has been making payment to that company for the past three months. Three months? Yes, three months. It's one of um, 120,000, 160,000 here, 130,000 here. You know, all payments are, you know, that price range. For the past three months. <sighs> wow. Uh, I don't know. It could be that he was paying for the catering, for your baby shower. All oh, right, <sighs> but then again, all this money is a lot. I'm only inviting twenty people for my baby shower. Anyway, I don't know. Hmm? It could be. Oh, it's okay. Thank you so much, Uche. I really do appreciate this. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I'll go, madam. I is your wife. She's fine. And the She's kid. Fine. She's fine. Thank you. All Thank right. you so much. Thank you. All right. All right. You take care. Hey. Baby. What happened now? 
It took so long. I had a long day at work. About that. Look, don't you think it's time that you go for your maternity leave? You cooked? Of course. Yeah. Look, I remember you said you were craving potatoes. Well, I just... You... What's wrong? Why do you have a face like that? What's the matter? I just lost my appetite. Come on now. But you were going on and on about craving potatoes. <sighs> Not anymore. Okay. So what are you craving for? Maybe I am craving for some finger licking chops. What are you talking about? Call it a you. I know I was wrong. Okay, please. Please, let me explain. Would you promise that you won't leave? Please. Please. Call it. What? Please. Please. I, 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 I didn't mean to hurt you like that. Call it. What have you done? Please, I, I didn't mean to hurt you like that. I swear. Please. Let me, let me explain. What did you do? Huh? Please, beg you, please. please. What? Please. Get your hands off me. Please, please. So this is it. You go out there to sleep with her. And then you come back home pretending to be a sweet loving husband. And then you cook. For your pregnant wife. Oh, she. I am asking you a question, Colonel Olani Beko. Don't stand there looking at me. Who is she? <sighs> She's someone that we know. Uh -huh. Hello? Claudia, how close are you? I'm still here at the hotel. I'm waiting for you. I miss you. I can't wait to have you again. Hello? Hello? Claudia? What hotel is she in? What hotel is she in? Green, Greenwood. It, it's... Don't worry about it. I'll use Google Map. Ooh. What's the room number? What's the room number? Please, please, please. Don't make me ask you again. What's the room number? <laughs> Room. Room. Room seven. On the seven. <laughs> James Bond. Please. And don't think of coming with me. Please. Don't touch me. Please don't do that. Come beneath you. <laughs> What? Why huh? are you? <laughs> you are mad? I am so mad. So mad right now. And you'll be damned what I will do to you if you don't start talking. So, you've been sleeping with my husband. I am asking you a question. Look, it's not personal. Mm. It's not personal. I am talking about my husband. So you are the thing 
that has been sleeping with my husband. How long have you been sleeping with him? Are you asking me a question? Madam, if you talk to me again, you go chop at that slap. Ah, what's in that? You have no idea what a pregnant angry woman is capable of. <sighs> so, I just want to know, how does this work? So, you sleep with him and he funds your business? You don't get your own five minutes of madness, eh? As you walk out here, you don't, you, don't, you don't finish your own, Abby. Now it's my turn. Now because of your condition, eh? I know you your hair, more crowd. Now you be the first good girl husband. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now only sleep while I sleep with your husband. Mm -hmm. I keep pressing. And that person go see come for appointments. And that person your husband go come again. I go oh. still sleep with that one. So, sister, calm down, yo. Eh? So you're not only a prostitute. You're a cheap one. So this is what you do. Hey! You go about sleeping with different married men just so they can fund your catering business. Now, you are with the wrong catering business. You think I don't know? You think I don't know that you are the owner of finger licking chops that my husband has been sending money to? <laughs> you think I don't know? Oh, you want to lie? <laughs> you want to lie? You're so mistaken. Finger licking chops is not a catering business. It's an escort services. <laughs> and you see, I am just one of the many girls, many girls that your husband sleeps with. We? Escort? What do you mean? I'm not the one you should be talking to. You should be talking to your husband. Hmm? So you're not the owner of finger licking chops? I beg, can't they go? <laughs> oh. Hey. Yes, now. Another, <laughs> I still get another customer meet now. You just slap my face anyhow. Hello? Hello? No. No. No! Koladi, what happened? Where is she? I don't know. Nobody's telling me anything. Come, why was she driving so late at night? Koladi. What happened? Yes. Your wife is awake now. Oh, thank God. Please call me. Kaira Joko, huh? how are you feeling? What happened to you? Okay. Okay, mommy. What were you doing driving so late at night? Hmm? What happened? What are you doing here? Lee! So I know everything. She told me everything. So okay. I am so disappointed in you. Don't touch me. Kolade, what happened? Hmm? Me. Talk to me, Kolade. What happened? Oh. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? Doctor, how, how is she? She's fine, she's fine. She just had a mild concussion, but she's okay. Uh, uh, and the baby? Um, what about the baby? Doctor, what about my baby? Okay, relax. Oh, 
It's okay, it's okay. What happened to my baby? Doctor. Doctor. Doctor what happened to my baby? Yes. Yes. What happened? Doctor, what happened to my baby? It's okay, it's okay. Doctor, what happened to my baby? <laughs> I saw Jordan. Who is Jordan? You are making me scared. I saw my baby. I saw my baby, mommy. We were going to name him Jordan. I carried him like this, mommy. He was crying. I was trying to make him stop. I kept singing the song he sang to me, mommy, as a child. I was thinking, oh, mommy, show Rere Tiatara. Oh, mommy, my baby, Teodoro. Why did he stop crying? I gave him to his father, and then he stopped Kaya. crying. Kaya. He was, he, he looked so much like me, mom. Kaya, there is no choice. That's a lie. I saw my child. Mommy, I carried my son. He was that child that I prayed for. Mommy, don't tell me! Don't tell me! My son! No! So no! No! So no! Where is Jordan, mommy? So Where is Jordan? Where is my son? Thank okay, you. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm holding up now. I hope you're not stressed. I'm fine. How are you? Thank you. Good to how see you. you. How nice are you? Fine. How about the shop? I have everything under control. Oh, thank you so much, Mofe. Um, I'm sorry. I heard about everything that happened. I'm really sorry. Thank you. I didn't have to call you today. I know. That's why I can't you do this.
my wife. That's my motivation. The reason why I was so good at my work. And of course, the family that we're going to have. Now, with everything that has happened, there's no motivation for me to work anymore. So I'm sorry, but I have to go. I can understand everything that you know you're you're going through, but quitting the farm, are you sure that's what you really want? How about we do drinks tonight? A farewell drink. You see, that is the reason why I'm here today. So, no. I, no, thank you. I don't understand. What's, what's that supposed to mean? Mr. Dickie, show your wife that you love her. Forget all these girls that you call every now and then. Do it now before the only thing you wake up next to every morning is regret. Because I know what it feels like. And it hurts, Mr. Dickie. What is it? What do you want? Come back here! Boo -boo. Who is Boo -boo. your mommy? What do you want? Who is your mommy? I need to see her. I've been trying to reach her, but I know if you talk to her, she will agree to see me. You want me to call Kiara to come and speak to you? Yes. <laughs> if you were in the accident with her, I would have thought maybe you were suffering from serious brain trauma. That is why you will think I would call my daughter to come and talk to you. Boo boo. Call her there. Boo boo. Leave. Boo boo, please talk to me. Boo boo. Call her will you please leave this house? Boo boo, I know what I've done. Please, I need to talk to you. Okay, okay. You still love her. Yes, ma she's my life. See, sometimes the greatest sacrifice of love is letting go. Ma? Call her day. Let Kaira go. Don't be the reason why she has to be in this state for the rest of her life. Let her go. Please let her go. You can close the door after you, please. Okay, doctor. So, doctor, we have to see you now. Yeah, we can put it. Um, I'm sorry, uh, this must be the wrong office. I'm looking for Dr. Williams. I'm Dr. Williams. Dr. Sandra Williams. You are Dr. Williams? Yes. Why don't you have a seat and make yourself comfortable? Uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, this can not work. Hmm? Is there anything the matter? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, please help me. Please help me. Hmm. Will you be coming home early today? I just have one client to attend to, so yes, I think so. Have you called Mr. Kenny? Samson! Uh, Jumoke, please. Let's not do this. Okay? Don't make me to be the bad guy. 
We had an agreement. And I asked you to give me time. To give you time? Yes, Jumoke, time. How much time do you need to know that this job you're doing is not working? It has been a year now. You need to call Mr. Kenny and see if he will give you your job back. Come on, Jumoke, this job you're talking about is my dream. Don't you get it? You're telling me it's one year, so? Come on. Your dream. I understand I do. But the good thing about dreams is you can wake up from them. Please, call Mr. Kenny now. I should wake up from my dream. Yes. Mr. Colladay, whenever you're ready. I'm sorry, I don't know how this is supposed to work. This is your first time here, right? Yes. So why don't we start from there? Why are you here? So why are you here? So badly. I'm afraid that my parents may be moved because of what did. What happened? I, I was unfaithful. So you cheated on your wife? Yes. With, uh, was it with a friend or a colleague? I don't follow. I mean, the person you cheated on her with, was it someone you both know or a colleague? No. No? It wasn't someone. Okay. from an escort service. Okay, I see. And how does that make you feel? I hate it. I hate myself. I hate the mother that I come. Because of what I did, my... My wife lost her baby. Sorry for your loss. So, why don't you take me to where it all started? Where did it all start? I'm sticking this thing. So you didn't do it intentionally? I believe that's what a mistake means. Mr. Kolade, you really need to stop being defensive because I'm only here to help you. Sorry. It's okay. So, this... In details, please. She was a client at work. We were on the verge of closing the very lucrative deal when she proposed to me. Oh, thank God. If I didn't know any better, I would have thought there was something on my face that was making you reject me. You're, you're obviously a very beautiful woman. And like I said, I can't do this. Unless I'm mistaken, I saw the way you were looking at me when we first met. You were literally undressing me with your eyes. Look, that was just a moment of 
protests and sit up outside for a while. I can't take it. Don't tell me you're rejecting me a second time. What's this? Those are the details to my hotel accommodation. I'll be there tomorrow till 5 before I leave for the airport. And Colade, I will not be rejected a third time. I told her off. But she was going to pull out of the deal. So if I didn't. If you didn't, sleep with her. Sleep with her. You know what? I don't like your attitude. I'm sorry, Mr. Colady. I'm really sorry if you feel this way, but if we must get to the root of this matter, we have to learn to be open. And how many times? Once. It only happened once. And after that time, have you spoken with her since then? No. It was after her you started seeing escorts. Yes. So there's something I find interesting here. Which is? After being with a woman of means, you started paying escorts to sleep with them. Do you know why you decided to make this decision? I don't know. Mr. Kolade, I think you do. If only you can dig deep and search within yourself, you would know why. I believe the more we get open with each other, we will be able to... This was a mistake. Mr. Kolade, please. What is it? Did you call him? I'll call him tomorrow. <laughs> oh, come on. Baby, I don't know any other way to say this. We need this job. Why can't you support me? We're barely getting by with the salaries. And with you out of work... I am the, the, Jumoke, I am not out of work. Practice. That is not footing the bills. We talked about having kids this year. And where is the money to do that? How can we have babies this year? Things are tight. And whose fault is that? Look, babe, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to pick up a job I do not like simply because I want to make you comfortable. I'm sorry, I just have to deal with it. I have to deal with it. Seriously? You deal with it! So no jiggy jiggy tonight? Jumoke? I was that for more. I even started to see him till morning. I, I, I'm, I'm seeing a therapist. I have to go to therapy. Which for you? I just started. Colade, I am tired. Can you just get to the point already? The point is... I'm not going to give up without a fight. I'm going to fight for you, Bubu. I'm going to fight for us. And I say, good luck. I know. I know that I'm the reason why we are in this place. Please, Bubu, don't give up on us. Please. Please. 
Leave me alone. You should have turned the balls out in the first place. Sorry. Give me a Give me a I you should have told about this. <laughs> So I'm glad you came back today. You don't want to be here. You came here for a reason, remember? Tell me, Dr. Sampson. What am I fighting for? If she has nothing to do with me. I don't blame her. of a man. Thank you for everything, Doctor. This is not Before you go, before you go, I need to ask you a question. One last question, please. What? Please sit. What? Please sit down. So, what is it that you love the most about your wife? Everything. I have no doubt that you love your wife. I just want you to take your time and think about it. When you think about Kira, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? A smile. She has a most beautiful smile. That's what put me when I first saw her. And she smiles, my world is at peace. Um, I don't know if I'm making any sense. Yes, yeah, sure, go on. on my way home. And when I get home and she smiles at me, all that madness at work doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> if her smiles makes you feel that way, why don't you ask yourself what you're willing to do to get back that smile? Just one more time. What would you like to know? So, how do you feel now? A lot better. Can I ask you one last question? After your relationship with Amina, why did you go on to sleep with other you know, escort girls? 
because you know some men go into sexual relationship with some women for absolutely no reason but your case is different please i want to done enough for today already i think it is all about control you lacked control when you were with amina she was in control of everything and you didn't look that so you switched to the escort girls because it was your money you had control obviously of the time you met with them the kind of sex you want them to offer to I you i said i'm done for today please mr kolade what exactly are you hiding tell me about your past tell me about your childhood <laughs> you can take the Please. Okay. Just pack the fabrics for her, okay? okay. Good afternoon. Please, what do you want to buy? Um, I'm not here to buy anything. Okay. My name is... Hey, boy. <gasps> Look at you! <laughs> you're, you're so big! She... You've grown to become a big man. Oh, how are you? Please, just come and sit down. Come and sit down. Ah, peace. Come here. Just go and get me chill juice for me, okay? Okay. Ah, Goladi, look at you. You're such a fine man. Please, have a seat. How are your parents? Where are they? I'm both in America now. Oh, that's good. But how did you find me? Facebook. I can still remember how I used to pick you up from school. Or oh, I used to force you to eat your semo. Is that all you? What's that? I said, is that all you remember? I don't understand. Because what I remember is you looking away my toys. Threatening not to give them to me until I join you in the bathroom. And when I asked you why, you said, I want us to play mommy and daddy. What I remember is you forcing me to watch you undress in your room. Or was it when you would grab my private part? Why well, mommy and daddy were not watching? Whisper in my ears and say, K okay, boy, this is our little secret. Which is what? Why would you do that to a child? A child that you're supposed to be taking care of. Why? Was robbing me of my innocence? For those little few minutes of pleasure, was it worth it? Was it? Ah, sorry, damn it! Was it worth it? No! Was it worth it? Come on, please! Come on, please! <laughs> sorry! Call me that. 
I'm so, I'm so, so sorry, please. I love you, please. Please. Forgive. <laughs> I forgive you. But not because you deserve it. Because I will no longer allow what you did to control my life anymore. But every time you look in the mirror, I hope you see how much of a monster that you are. I'm so sorry. So, how do you feel about the whole experience? I feel like I can have a load that's been lifted off me. You know, Mr. Collardy, you're a ticking time bomb. Yeah, your experience with Amina was what set everything all in motion. It took you back to the days where you were. You had little auto control with your nana. So, it was a horrible experience. Can I ever be normal again? Of course you're normal. You only wear the scars of battle, which you're going to be wearing for a very long time. Okay, I would only suggest and advise constant therapy, which you should come once a week for. Okay. Samson. Yeah, welcome. Thank so, you very much. What do you want to do now? Do whatever it takes to, to get my baby back. Um, is it okay if we come and force sessions together? Therapy. That's great. Of course. For the first time in a long while, I feel hopeful again. That's good to hear. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're I'm sorry about that. How are you? I'm feeling a lot better now. But Samson says I need to come in for more sessions though. But that's good. I hope that you find all the help that you need. Thank you. <sighs> he also thinks that it would be a good idea if we, if we both came in for sessions together yeah, to, to work on our issues. To work on our issues? Really, Koladi? I am really sorry about all that you've been through. It just doesn't change anything. I'm sorry. I am sorry, Kola. How many times have I warned you to stop using that um, that stupid rat to be cleaning these leather chairs? I don't want to repeat myself again. Sorry, ma'am. Colin, can we not just do this here? Tell me how else. 
want me to say? I'm sorry. Wait. I'll be. Then I'll lucky her. Therapy. I was asked what I loved most about you. <sighs> you don't know what I said. You smile. <laughs> because you, Kara, Emerald Chima, you have the most. A smile the entire world and when you smile the world feels like a better place at least mine does so I'm going to keep fighting because my world is nothing You need it. Hi. So, something happened this week. I, I was with my patient who was going through hard times with his marriage and this week finally I got through to him, we had a breakthrough. And suddenly, I realized that this is why I chose this practice. To help people. To give people hope. And I said to myself that I would not, I would not give up until I give it another try. Even if it is for a year, I don't mind. Okay, I know this is not what you want to hear, but I'm praying to God that you accept. I do. Well, I wasn't... No, wait, what? I do. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I acted. And I really want you to know that I love you and I support you and I believe in you, whatever you want to do. Thank you so much. Are you guys not on yet? I told Uloma and Kiki to go. It's just me. Auntie Ki, how are you? I don't know how I feel. Auntie Ki, I promise to be here for you, just the way you were there for me. I 
I don't know. I felt I was, was being a very good wife. I wasn't a nagging wife. I cooked for him. I did everything. I made sure I was his peace. I even starved him any day. But still, it wasn't enough. Mufe, if you were in my shoes, what would you do? To be honest, I have no idea. But I know one thing. Whatever decision it is you make would be the right one. What you have gone through would have ended most people. The thing is, Uncle Kolade is not perfect. But he's sincerely sorry and willing to do right by you. Like most people I know, especially Koka. But then, not all men are caught from the same cloth. Like I said, there is no right or wrong here. Auntie Kay, it will be all right. Everything will work out. Just how I really do love him. It will be fine. Are you sure? Thank you. We are already 30 minutes into the session. It's okay. We can start. Um, sorry. Can we start now? Thank you. 